I'm Sabina Hassanova with the latest news in English on Asvisha TV. Azerbaijan is working on its civil service development strategy for 2019-2025. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev signed a decree on applying the law on amending the law on civil service in late December 2017. The decree instructs the Cabinet of Ministers to build the draft civil service development strategy for 2019-2025 within six months, taking into account international practices and submit it to the President. President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev has received the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs Andrew Schofer, Stefan Visconti and Igor Popov and Ambassador Andrzej Kasprichik, personal representative of the OSCE chairperson in office. The sites discuss the current state and prospects of the negotiations on the settlement of the Armenia-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs Bridget Brink, who is on a visit to Baku, has commented on the upcoming early presidential elections in Azerbaijan. Our advice to Azerbaijan regarding the elections is that the election be held freely and fairly, in line with the constitution and international commitments. The U.S. supports democratic processes and an environment where people can freely assemble and express their opinions and when there is free media. The U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary Bridget Brink also commented on the visit of the co-chairs of the OSCE Minsk Group to Baku and said that the peaceful resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is of great importance. The U.S. supports all efforts aimed at peaceful resolution of the conflict. Nevertheless, Armenian armed forces keep breaking the ceasefire regime with Azerbaijan. The Armenian site has violated the ceasefire 121 times throughout the day, reports the press service of the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan. Armenia is destroying flora and fauna in occupied Azerbaijani territories, says the concerned deputy minister of ecology and natural resources, Firdovsi Aliyev. About 261,000 hectares of Azerbaijani forests were occupied by Armenia. We are very concerned about the fate of these forests. Armenia is destroying flora and fauna in the occupied Azerbaijani territories. Moreover, we are taking forest restoration measures and building new forests throughout the country. The Speaker of the Swiss National Council undermines negotiations on the settlement of the Armenia-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict said the spokesperson for the Azerbaijani Foreign Ministry, Hikmet Ajiev, as he commented on the statement voiced by the Swiss National Council President Dominique de Buman during his visit to Yerevan. The ideas voiced by Dominique de Buman can be regarded as support for segregation and racism when translated into the internationally accepted language. The remarks he made from Yerevan indicates that he justifies Armenian aggression against Azerbaijan as well as the occupation of our territories by Armenian armed forces and the bloody ethnic cleansing of more than one million Azerbaijanis in the occupied territories. The Minister of Defense of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Colonel General Zakir Hasanov, has met with the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Turkey to Azerbaijan, Erkan Özeral. The sites discussed the current state of the relations and prospects for development of cooperation between the armies of Azerbaijan and Turkey, the military political situation in the region, and a number of other issues of mutual interest. Azerbaijan rocket and artillery formations conducted live fire exercises in accordance with the troops' combat training plan for 2018, reports the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. The drill participants used modern automated control systems to ensure high accuracy and intensify of practical combat firing. Artillery units fulfilled assigned tasks in due time and destroyed all the pre-established targets. The common staff highly appreciated the trainings, skills and ability of the military personnel involved in the exercises. Azerbaijan's Minister of Economy has held several meetings with the heads of Turkish, Georgian and Kazakh delegations on the sidelines of the International Conference on the role of the Trans-Caspian International East-West Trade and Transit Corridor in implementing the Belt and Road Initiative held in Beijing, China. During the bilateral meeting with the Turkish Deputy Minister of Transport, Maritime Affairs and Communications, Yüksel Coşkun Yürek, Minister Mustafaev hailed the successful achievements between the countries in the economic sphere. The sides also discussed the prospects for strengthening bilateral ties between Azerbaijan and Turkey. Mustafaev underlined the successful development of bilateral relations between Azerbaijan and Georgia in all areas as he met with Georgian Deputy Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development, Georgi Cherkizishvili.
he noted the importance of implementation of the joint projects. Mustafa also stressed the significance of the Baku Tbilisi Cars Railway in terms of developing relations between the two countries. Minister of Economy Shahin Mustafayev also met with the Deputy Minister of Investment and Development of Kazakhstan Roman Skolyar to exchange views over economic, trade and investment relations, transport and transit cooperation. The ministers also explored the ways of developing cooperation between the entrepreneurs of both countries. Four people died, 85 more went missing and at least 243 were injured after 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit off the coast of eastern Taiwan. A hotel and at least three other buildings collapsed in the city of Walin as a result of the earthquake that struck early Wednesday. Local media showed footage of leaning buildings and cracked pavement. Taiwan's government launched an emergency recovery operation and a disaster mechanism to work at the fastest rate on disaster relief work. And that was all for today from Asvision TV. Our next update will be tomorrow. Till then, enjoy your day.